order of operations. It's honestly a math skill that you just need to know. So in this video, we are going to start with what is the order of operations? And then we're going to go over some examples because the best way to learn math is to practice. Welcome to Purely Persistent, I'm Michelle. So basically, order of operations is the order in which we do math problems, okay? When we have a whole slew of numbers and we have to multiply, divide, add, subtract, there's a specific way that we have to do this. So some mathematician a long time ago decided that this was the proper order, and so that's what we have to do. So I want you to remember either this acronym, PEMDAS, or please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So either way, memorize that because that will really help you in the order of operations. Okay, so the P is anything that is in parentheses, okay? So that is what you're going to do first. Anything that you see in the math problem that is in parentheses. Next, we have exponents, okay? And exponents would be that little number on the top, okay? So maybe I have three squared. So that would be the little squared would be the exponent. And that's what I need to do first. So in case you're not familiar with exponents, it's basically three squared would be three times three, okay? So three times three, so it's doing it two times because there's a two right there, is nine. Okay, multiplication. And then we have the D is division. Now, one thing I want you to remember is even though we're going in a specific order, we start with parentheses, then we do exponents. But multiplication and division, they're buddies, okay? So you go from left to right, just like you're reading. So if there's a division first, you do that first. Follow from left to right. Okay, then we have A, which is addition, and S, which is subtraction. And again, those two are also buddies, okay? So we have addition and subtraction. So again, we have PEMDAS, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So let's practice. Now I have a lot of math videos, so I want you to click that subscribe button and check out some of those other videos that I have. Okay, so here we have our problem, 15 divided by three plus four. So we start from the left to the right. Now, any parentheses? No. Exponents? No. Multiplication? No. Division? Yes. So we're gonna start with the division. So we have 15 divided by three, which is simply five. So now we have five plus four. And that's really all that we have. So five plus four is nine. This is a pretty simple problem. So let's do some more challenging problems. Okay, so here we have parentheses, nine plus 16 divided by four, parentheses minus five. Okay, so let's start. We have a parentheses, yes. So inside the parentheses, we also have to follow our order of operations, okay? So I don't wanna go nine plus 16. I want to go 16 divided by four. So let's keep that in the parentheses. So we have nine plus 16 divided by four is just going to be four, right? Close parentheses, minus five. So now I have nine plus four, is 13 minus five, 13 minus five is eight. Okay, so here we have three plus seven times four divided by two plus three squared. Okay, so let's follow our order of operations. We have parentheses, hmm, no parentheses. Exponents, oh, right there, three squared. So we have to rewrite, rewrite the whole thing, so we have, three plus seven times four divided by two plus three squared. So again, three times three is nine. 
Okay, no more exponents. Now we have multiplication. And remember, multiplication and division are buddies. Okay, so we have to do what's left to right. So here we have three plus seven times four. So we're gonna go seven times four. So we have three plus seven times four is 28 divided by two plus nine. Okay, now we have the division. If the division problem was first, that's what we would do first, okay? So, but it's not. We have three plus 28 divided by two is 14 plus nine. And then we have three plus 14 plus nine. Honestly, it's all addition. We could just add them all together. So three plus 14 is 17. 17 plus nine is 26. Now, just for fun, let's see what would happen if we just disregard the order of operations. Let's see if our problem is any different. Okay, so we're going to go three plus seven, which is 10. 10 times four divided by two plus three squared. So 10 times four is 40 divided by two plus three squared. 40 divided by two is 20 plus three squared. We're gonna have to do our three squared now, right? So we have 20 plus nine. 20 plus nine is 29. Now, do you remember what we got before? 26, right? 26 and 29 are not the same numbers. Now you know and I know that if we were taking a multiple choice test, they would have 26 and 29 on it. And you'd be like, woohoo, I got the answer right. And you'd mark 29 and you get it wrong, right? So it's really important that you follow the order of operations. Let's practice some more. So this one here is a little longer. Look at all those numbers. Okay. We start with parentheses. So here we've got all of this in parentheses. We have nine plus. Now remember, we have to do the order of operations within the parentheses. So we have one times six. That's our first number. There we go. <laughs> minus four, minus three. Okay, still in the parentheses. So we're going to Follow addition and subtraction because they're buddies, right? What goes left to right. So here we have five plus two. Whoops. Five plus two is seven. Minus six, minus four, minus three. So still in parentheses. Nine minus one, minus four, minus three. And honestly, what we can do here since it's all subtraction, we will just go left to right. So nine minus one is eight. Eight minus four is four. Four minus three is one. So our answer for this one is just simply one. I hope that this order of operations video helped you understand the math concept a little bit more. If there are any other math concepts that you would like me to do, comment below and I will definitely try to try to make it happen for you. Thank you for watching and I want you to remember that you are amazing. I really believe that. Have confidence, believe in yourself, and of course have a beautiful day and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.